What's up, YouTube? We're back with another video, and this time it's Disney related. And this one was an expensive one. So when these things were announced, my wife said, I want one. I said, okay, which one? She goes, I like the yellow one. And I said, well, okay, those are expensive. No, it's <laughs> literally pretty much how this conversation went down. As you don't remember, she wanted the yellow one, but there was one she wanted, and I literally saw the price, and I said, no. Those are expensive. Those are ridiculously expensive. So then, they went up for sale. And it was yellow and white, maybe, went up for sale. Yellow and red. I don't remember. Two of them went for sale. And I said, well, they're up for sale. They're $295. She was like, oh, yeah. No, never mind. I'm good. All right. Good. Save my saves the bankroll. Months go by. Those are sold out on Shop Disney. Two more go up. Black one and red, white, yellow. Then remember the black one went up. And I go, the black one's up now. She goes, I was like, oh gosh, this was a bad idea. So anyway, but I knew she wanted these. There was no doubt about it that she wanted these. So if you know anything about me or my wife, we love our Disney stuff. We have multiple lounge fly bags, Disney ears, Funkos. And my wife, I know you may not know, but she's really big into the bags. Lots of bags. Most of these bags we've hanging around the, the room. All hers. So she also likes her coach and her Kate Spade and her Louis Vuitton. So this was something I knew I wasn't going to talk her out of ever. And so we broke into the piggy bank and we decided that in this little bag we were going to drop $295 for what came in this bag. You want to know what came in the bag? I'll give you a hint. It's Black Ears. And it is the Walt Disney World with the 1971 embroidering. Limited release. It says on the inside. Boom. Boom. On the, in, on, at the top of the head, it says Walt Disney World established 1971. Genuine letter. It is the coach. Mickey Ears. So I just want to show you guys these ears. These are my wife's ears. After I'm done with this video, I gotta wrap them back up, put them in the bag. And she doesn't want me just to like leave them laying around because they are expensive. Um, these are not something that's gonna be everybody's cup of tea. But on the one ear, this ear right here, you get a patch and three, four pins. You have the Mickey head, Mickey, a flower, and Mickey's pants on on one. And then this ear, you have the patch. The 71, which is the, the, day, the year of Disney World's birth, a flower, and a rainbow. You draw pins except for the patch that's right here. These are, this is a leather patch, and this is a fabric patch. I don't know if you can tell that in camera, but yeah. Um, and then, there's like seven pins. Um, so, I want to give you my opinion. Like, these are my wife's ears. She loves them. She's obsessed with them. She can't wait to go back to Disney and wear those. Now, my personal opinion on these ears is when I saw these things announced, I thought these were going to be garbage. Like, absolute horrendous, expensive garbage. So, when we were at Disney World last year, I saw the Disney Parks um, jeweled ones. And my personal opinion, so many people out there absolutely love them. My personal opinion is I did not like the look of them at all. And my wife kind of agreed with me. She was like, mm, for that price, you thought they looked better like the little hat ears. I saw people wearing them. I thought they looked cheap and tacky. But my taste is not everybody else's taste, and their taste isn't my taste. It is what it is. So, the E750 ears didn't look as bad, but I still look, think look cheap and tacky. You may disagree with what I'm saying, and that's fine. That is your style. You like it, and you're happy with them. You, what you spend your money on doesn't affect me or anybody else in this world except you and your family, and that's it. 
So if you're happy with your thousand dollar ears, seven hundred dollar ears, twenty dollar ears, um, three dollar ears that are from um, AliExpress, which are one hundred percent, you know, fakes that look exactly real. And if you don't know anything about Chinese, when it comes to making fakes, they will copy everything because they don't fall into the same licensing agreements as we do in the U.S. So they are not the odds of them getting sued over the stuff. It's slim to none. Um, just putting it out there. So if you order from AliExpress, be very careful what you buy. Remember, you're spending $3 on ears, and there's a reason you're spending these $3, and it takes six months to get to you. I guess it takes like four weeks. But there's a reason. It, it's so cheap. Remember, if it looks too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Um, but if you're happy with them, I don't care. Enjoy them. So I was thinking this was going to be tacky, disgusting. I looked at the pictures. The pictures did not do it justice. And in my personal opinion, these are something that if you get a chance to see these in person, they look so much better in person than they do online. Um, there are a few people I follow that have all the years. And even in the videos, these look horrible. But in person, it looks really nice. So what do I? What, what, what's my take from all this? Is if in you're in a store and you can see these ears, check them out if you have the budget to buy them. Even if you don't, check them out and form your own opinion of them. Are they tacky? Are they overpriced tacky? Which, do I still think they're overpriced? Oh, yeah. Duh. Of course they are. And you're paying for the two names. You're paying for Disney and you're paying for Coach. Do I think they're as tacky as I thought they would be? No. I think they're actually pretty nice ears. The stitching is good. The pin setting is good. Everything is good about these ears. So, and I'm back. Sorry, something caught my attention and I shut the door. Um, so, where was I? The pin setting, the patches, the stitching, the imprints, the fact that it says limited release with a serial number on it. It's all just really good. So, if you want one of these, I'm going to recommend them. Um, if you don't know, there's multiple ways to buy these without paying fully up front for these. Look into it. If you are thinking about it, it'll be the best way to go because you're not dishing out the money up front. And it, it might also give you an opportunity, if you don't like it, to return it. And you didn't dish out 300 bucks. So, that's one of the best things. So when you buy something on somebody's website, so like Quarna, Afterpay, Affirm, any like layaway website that kind of like exists, if you buy something that's expensive and you decide you don't like it and the company has a return policy that allows you to return anything for any reason, you only lost your first third of the third of what you paid. And then you wait till they get an issue to refund. But if you dish out the full amount up front, it feels a little more painful when you have to return it. Because you decide you don't like it. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed these ears. I showed you one last time. There's the back. The inside. And the 1971 patch on the side. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, have a good one. Peace.